What the flip is up guys, it's your girl Brett Nicole and this is my life through camera lens. And I think to myself, what a wonderful What a wonderful Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. I'm very excited because it is the first sunny day that we've had in Washington in a minute. I have the day off and my daughter is with her dad this weekend. So I have a lot that I need to get done and I actually have the free time to do it. So I'm gonna take you guys along the weekend with me. I thought it would be fun. And one of my best friends is in town. I'm gonna get to see him tonight and some of my friends. We're gonna have like a game night. That should be a good time and just do dinner. I need to clean my house. I've been training for a half marathon. So I'm gonna go on a run today. Today. I just have a lot to do and I figured I would take you guys along with me because I haven't taken you guys on a day with me and I, I don't even remember the last I think the last thing that you guys saw for me was an open house that I did months ago. So yeah, we have a lot to catch up on a lot to do and I'm excited to show you guys So first things first, we're gonna clean the house about to go on a run. Um, I'm really excited because the route that I mapped out is a little shorter than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be over six miles and it's actually right at four and a quarter. I feel like it's a really good like long run for me to do today just to kind of like get my body moving. Like I said, it's sunny outside. I just want to like go outside, get a little bit of sun, kind of relax before I head to the gym. I'm not going to bring my camera, but I'll bring my phone and kind of like film a little bit of my run for you guys and kind of let y'all know how it goes. The weather's just been really icky, but it's one of those things where you can't really wait for good weather here where I'm at and that's what I've been doing I'm like oh I'll just wait for it to get sunny one of my coworkers said something yesterday that really stuck with me you can't control the weather so you might as well run in the rain I thought that was really really precious and it's so fitting for here like if I'm waiting for good weather I'm gonna be waiting forever you're not gonna have super sunny days and I can't run once every like two weeks if I'm trying to train for this marathon so this will be the longest run that I've done in a while. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna do a little bit of stretching and then we're gonna get ready to rock and roll. It is actually the following day. Long story short, after my run, I came home and ate lunch and I think I might have eaten something that just didn't sit right with my stomach. I was like down for the count. I did go over to my friend's house and hang out with them and it, we had so much fun. We just played like card games and stuff and I'm so glad that I went, <laughs> but I just felt so icky and I just didn't feel good. Yeah, I did not pick up the camera because I was on the struggle bus. I am currently about to go meet up with the same group so don't you fret you're gonna get to see them all and then um, we're gonna go on a hike it's 56 out right now and super sunny which is good except for the fact that it's freaking so windy and the wind is cold so I'm dressed you know like it's summer and it's so freaking cold that's what we're gonna do right now we're gonna head to Oak Harbor because it's nice out so we're gonna blare some music enjoy the scenery and I will pick the camera back up when we get to where we're going
doing it up. We got lost. Not lost, just misplaced from the group. We are carrying up rocks. Having a grand old time. Did y'all hear that? So pretty. We're lost, Mom. We actually are getting lost. We gotta hurry. <laughs> the sun's going down. Yeah, we're getting lost. Yeah, we better come on. So I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I've made the decision that I'm going to kind of give you guys a little bit of insight about what has been going on in my life. Because me just saying like, oh, sorry, life's got away from me, blah, blah, blah. It's not really explaining anything. And the last thing that I filmed, I'm pretty sure, was the day that me and a group of my friends went hiking. My buddy Evan that was in town is actually gone. He's been gone for like two weeks, I think, at this point. It's been a while since I picked up the camera. Some plans that we had kind of fell through. I ended up having to have oral surgery on one of the days that he was here. So I worked while he was in town too. I also just wanted to spend time with him when I was with him and not just have my camera out the whole time. This is actually the first time that I am speaking on this at all, both on the internet and just out loud, other than to like my mom and a couple family members. My daughter and I moved out. I moved into my own place. It's been going really great. Everything between him and I have going really well. I'm not going to touch on why we separated. Um, really no one needs to know any of that besides him and I. But things between him and I are really good and things are going really good. Me moving out and things, it kind of changed a lot about my personal life. Me becoming a single mom and stuff like that, yes. But it affected my schooling in a lot of ways. Now do not have the luxury to not work full time anymore, which is what is needed uh, to be in the current program that I'm in. So it's been extremely difficult um, to say the least it's already a very exhausting and tough program but then when you add in these little chaotic life events it makes it even harder so yeah that's been an adjustment in itself which is why I have not been filming anything pretty much because I don't have the spare time I'm either at school or I am at work it's very rare that I'm able to do anything else that's the main reason why I've been MIA with ROTC and the nursing program and working full-time and living you know over 3,000 miles away from any of my family or friends it's just really hard I've had to kind of like let my pride go a little bit which is very difficult for me and kind of like cut back on some stuff in my life that I didn't personally want to but yeah life is good I'm gonna try and be more present on the camera because I honestly miss filming so much and I feel like I'm missing so much you know me you know that I love to capture everything I literally always have my phone out or my camera out for the last two years I haven't hardly filmed anything at all it's very sad because I have documented pretty much everything for the last god i don't even know almost 10 years I just want to be more present anywho i am actually going to finish a video for once in the last few months i keep starting videos and y'all obviously haven't seen them because i haven't put them out there but i have not finished a video in a hot minute i always start them and i have every intention of filming them and then i just don't and i'm sick of doing that so we're gonna change it i do have to run and go pick something up i'm having some medical issues as well yeah that's a whole different story that we aren't really sure what's going on there so I'll update you guys on that way later, you know, when I actually have more answers. I'm very excited to finish this video. It's so silly to some people, I'm sure, but I'm just, I can't wait. I'm pumped for it. I also need to do a haul for you guys because I went thrifting the other day and God, I forgot how much I love thrifting. I got some really cute things. I got these two. It's very hard to see. It's kind of hard to see, but I got these two silver rings for a dollar, two for a dollar love them and i got this shirt it's like a crop top but it's a halter i'm so excited so yeah that's what we're gonna do right now i'm just gonna clean i'll pick up the camera all the things and we'll see where the day takes us but regardless of where the day takes us we will we will finish this video Yeah, 
I'm squatting way the heck down here because I have you propped up on my window seal. I wanted to show you guys very quickly what I'm wearing. I'm kind of in a little bit of a rush because it's almost three o'clock and I really, really want to go to the gym, but I also want to go on a run. So I'm having trouble trying to decide if I should go for a run. It's just that where I want to go for the run is a little ways away. It's a shorter run, but it's difficult because there's a lot of incline. So I know that I'll get a lot out of this run, even though I won't be running a farther distance. But I also know that I can get the run done pretty quickly, which is a good thing because I have to be done in time to get Charlie from school. So it took me a little longer to clean than I originally expected. Me sitting here chatting to y'all is not helping me at all right now. First, I'm gonna wear my neon Under Armour shirt crosses and then I got a new pair of shorts off the TikTok shop. Um they're just camo. Hopefully y'all can see them okay. They're meant to be worn like way down here, but I am not a low rise gal. I crank them all the way up to the sky. They do have pockets which I like and then I'm just gonna wear my black shoes. I was going back and forth on whether or not I wanted to wear my new sunglasses. Um, I got a new pair of running sunglasses and I really like them, but I got two new pair. Both of them are very bulky, but they are so cute. I like them. I wouldn't wear them every day, but they look real cool. They don't fit with my hat. I kind of want to wear my hat today. So I think I'm just going to wear my hat. I got this from Walmart. It's got a hole at the bottom like normal and then it actually has a hole at the top. So if you want to wear like a high ponytail, my favorite thing ever is I just got this vest off of Amazon. I actually wore this during my race last weekend and I love it. If you wear it like this, it just goes on. It has a smaller pocket right here and then it has a bigger pocket that goes around this way. Um, and then it has a big pocket on the back as well. It just straps. You just tighten it up and it doesn't move. Like I had my keys, my friend's keys and my phone and then some gel packets in here when I was running and I tightened it and it didn't move and it felt so comfortable. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what we had going on, but I need to hurry because I uh, I don't know how. I just don't want to take too much time. So I'll see you guys when we get out to the trail. I just got to the spot where I'm running and I actually put on a long sleeve shirt over top of my sports bra, mainly because it's really windy outside, which is so frustrating because every time that we've had a sunny warm day, it's super windy, which it's annoying because it's so windy that it's actually cold. So I'm just frustrated. I want the wind to go away because it would feel so nice outside if it wasn't windy, but the wind makes it cold. Mm. I'm literally running in a trail. I'm running up a mountain. So, I'm going to be sweating my balls off here shortly anyways. Like, it's an intense incline. I'm not even going to go on a ramble. So, yeah. So, we're going to stretch real quick. And then we're going to get our little booties on the road. Because I want to try and hurry and be done before 4. Because I, there is a ton of boats out today. I miss having friends with boats out here. And my daddy and my brother, they all got boats. But they're all in Florida. My friends that had boats no longer live here. So, I no longer have a boat to go out on. And I miss it. Today would be the perfect day to go out on a freaking boat and go wakeboarding. Though, I tell you that much. What am I trying to say? I don't even know. My freaking ADH brain. I want to be done before 4. Because I still want to stop and get my Lotus, aka my pre-workout drink, and then I want to go to the gym. And if I keep lallygagging, I'm not going to have time to go to the gym before I have to go pick up old Charles from school. So let's go stretch and get going because if I sit here too long, I'm going to talk myself out of this run. I really want to run, but at the same time, I really... already on the road. I finished earlier than I wanted to, which is good. Just stopped at 
Whippy coffee and got my little drink. I'm the kind of gal that if I like something, I pretty much just stick with it. It's just a Diet Lotus with sugar-free peach, sugar-free vanilla, and sugar-free coconut topped with coconut milk. And I absolutely love it. I get it in a 24 ounce and I down it on my way to the gym. But yeah, it was a good run. I'm gonna head to the gym now and I'll show you guys what I get into. All in all, so good right now. It's 58 degrees outside. It's nice and sunny. I'm about it. I love it. Well, um, it is days days later it's actually almost a week to the day later i don't even remember the last thing that i filmed but this last week has been extremely hectic at work and i don't know if you can tell at all but this eye is effed up right now and i just haven't felt good i put on full like foundation and everything today because i looked like i didn't feel good this morning and i had to work so i literally spent the entire day yesterday majority of the time was in my car or in some sort of doctor's office and not a single one of the three that I went to did anything for me. I'm gonna end the video here. We will start a new video because if the rate that I'm going, this video is gonna continue like it is and we just need, we need a, a reboot. We need to just start over. So I hope you had a lovely day. I hope you've had a lovely week. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because it really helps support my channel and I will see you guys in next, we're just gonna say, I'm not even gonna say next week's video. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Thank you.